Welcome everybody, I'm Hieroglyphics, uh, bringing you the mobile newscast from Wifagro Gaming Site. Uh, I'd like to start with giving you some news about what's been going on in Dota uh, for the last week or so, and uh, then move on into a little bit about League of Legends, and then uh, even give you some updates about uh, Heroes of the Storm, and things going on in uh, Hearthstone as well. So, let's get right into it. This week, OG won just a ridiculous victory without a single loss in the Dream League. Uh, and then before that even, they got into uh, the Frankfurt Major, which is amazing for such a young team. They won. They bested Team Secret, uh, who bested EG. I mean, partly, in fact, due to uh, PPD's really weak draft on their part. I mean, like, talk about Winter Wyvern or Feed. I mean, they have no Rubik player. It, it just seemed like they were very limited for a, a TI winner uh, within the last year. Um, and uh, just a miracle gameplay off the charts. Uh, no tail, just play it like a crazy man. Meepo, whatnot, this dude's nuts. Uh, the meta's definitely shifting. You know, we've got all that. It's the armor meta, they say. You know, a lot of picks that they've been uh, throwing around lately, uh, just tons of doom. You know, bounty hunter's still popular. Tusk has been uh, uh, just picked a ton. Uh, Shadow Fiend, definitely in popularity lately. Uh, Phantom Lancer, even, and Ember Spear, a lot. Uh, some of the most overvalued picks that they've been having, uh, just Wind Ranger. Uh, to be honest, Arteezy played one game uh, against Secret as Wind Ranger, and I totally forgot that the guy was even playing. Not a damn play made on the, that character at all. Uh, just nothing. You know, you got friggin' Sumail over there playing Super YOLO on the Timber Saw, you know, and some of it paid off, but the rest of it was, you know, just chaining right into three dudes and getting wrecked. Um, other than that, Lena has been just poor performance. I mean, 38% win on Lena, you know, 35% or less on Wind Ranger of Winds, uh, and then Night Stalker. And pick a ton. You know, I even saw when uh, Funic was standing in on Empire, he picked and it just was doing terribly, you know, for a guy who's definitely got the record of being a pretty awesome player overall. 39% uh, win on Night Stalker in that, that tournament. Uh, some of the highest KDA heroes uh, within that have been Queen of Pain with a 4.12 KDA. We had Ember Spirit with a 4.02 and then Dark Seer even, which surprised me, at 3.93 KDA. Um, you know, other than uh, that fun stand-in on Empire, we also had Havost uh, standing in on Empire as well. Uh, you know, to be honest, it didn't go that great. Um, you know, other than that, they've got a new team lineup for Rave. Um, Complexity also picked up a, br a couple of brothers that were uh, Han champions. You know, also we've got Cloud9, just tons of news about Cloud9 here. Uh, Ritsu got kicked off due to involvement with uh, basically leaking scrims, uh, scrim drafts, and just sabotaging Digital Chaos as best he could. Uh, got caught, and uh, they ditched him. Uh, yeah, so then, promptly after that, 1437 joined Digital Chaos no other than the team that the guy was trying to sabotage. And then uh, shortly after accepting the fee for that transfer, uh, the team just folded. There is no Cloud9 Dota. Um, other than that, they've got also Loda, uh, the TI3 winner from Alliance, uh, actually had some beef with one of the casters at a CSGO uh, event. Uh, this guy got physical, basically, uh, as an alleged, uh, you know, we're not sure exactly what happened, but there was an alleged headbutt some choking uh, also, and uh, it just obviously just did not go well. Summit 4 redemption votes are no longer possible, they say. And to be honest, I forgot all about that feature. In League of Legends, this again is the team where NBA team owners uh, buy in. Uh, they also now have a Taiwanese pop singer who started his own League of Legends team. Uh, uh, they've also reported uh, Darshan reportedly random drug tested via cotton swab or mouth swab, uh, I guess hopefully looking for uh, performance enhancing drugs such as uh, Adderall and whatnot. Um, wonder if anybody uh, had a piss test for Red Bull, yeah, whatever. And in Blizzard news, uh, they're currently suing the makers of some bots used in WoW, D3, and uh, Heroes of the Storm. It's entitled Storm Buddy, Demon Buddy, Honor Buddy. Uh, basically recorded, uh, reportedly by Blizzard, costing them millions. Uh, Gosu Gamers is recruiting volunteers for editorials and coverage uh, for Heroes of the Storm specifically. 
uh, but potentially for other games as well. So if you go on their site, uh, you know, this is of course a volunteer action, but they will uh, give you the chance to submit and contact you via Skype if, uh, you know, they're willing to let you contribute. Uh, and this one just really gets me. Hearthstone player, Purple, won uh, Dreamhack this week, and one of our own, uh, IREC, whose videos and guides are featured on Wife Aggro Gaming, has beat this guy very recently. So it just kills me that this guy just won Dreamhack. So anyway, that just about wraps it up for what's going on in MOBAs this week. Uh, so we'll try and hit you back uh, here next week with any updates in uh, what's going on in the mobile world. Uh, but as always, check out all the videos here at Wife Aggro Gaming. Uh, got tons ranging from, you know, Dota 2, Heroes of the Storm, League of Legends, you know, World of Tanks, Hearthstone, uh, tons of games. Check it out. Appreciate your time. Thanks.